Camping with dogs is one of the best parts of RV living. Dogs truly are a man's best friend. They give you love, companionship, and they're great security. But as campground owners, we've had more issues and problems with dogs than anything else. You're not gonna believe the stories and statistics we're about to share with you. Shocking, but true. Make sure you subscribe, because we keep it real. <laughs> we're really nice people. We're so much fun to hang out with. And we love dogs. We, we really love do. dogs, but it's never the dogs. It's, it's the, the humans. It's the owners that screw everything up. Welcome back to the RV Hug Couple. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes, and we found freedom, independence, and adventure RVing full-time. And now we're building a community that loves God, family, country here at Thunder Canyon. Okay, guys, we love dogs. Please don't misunderstand. But you're just not going to believe some of these stories. Like, had they not happened in front of my own eyeballs, I wouldn't believe them either. But we're going to share some statistics with you guys, not to scare people about dogs, because we love our dog. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you won't attack us and you'll support why we've made the decisions we have. But make sure you stay till the end of the video, because we've saved the most sensational, the rudest, and just the craziest, wildest story that we've encountered till the end. Three times now, we've had two tragic losses and one near tragic loss. So remember guys, we're always going to tell you the truth. So make <laughs> sure you stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications, like the video. And if you disagree with us in a fair, polite way, write in the comments why and how you would do things different. Number one, as campground owners, we are looking at all the souls on board our ship. So we are worried about the safety and security of everyone here. So exactly. before you judge, Remember that it's not about you, it's about everyone else. And remember, there's those who love dogs, and then there are those who come stay with us who are terrified of dogs because they had a horrible experience. Frankly, some dogs are better than most humans, right? And to that point, I blame the humans for these stories we're about to share with you. It's so not true. Not the dog. Uh, it's so true, you guys. The problem is the humans. It's not the dog. And on average, every year, 30 to 50 people are killed by a dog every single year. And those people that are usually killed are below nine years old. Yeah, it's usually the young ones. We had a pit bull attack our dog, Skippy, and he's never quite recovered from that. He was mauled, it and was the brutal. mauling went on for three or four minutes. I couldn't break neck. him up. Yeah. Thank God he did survive. Yeah. But now we have a rule where pit bulls are not allowed at Thunder Canyon. And the reality is that breeds matter because out of those crazy statistics, 95% sure. of these maulings are done by a pit bull. So it's not us making these numbers up. And our dog was attacked by a pit and bull and almost killed. It. We witnessed this firsthand. It was one of the most horrible things either one of us have ever been through. And so, no, there are no pit bulls allowed. We know you, your dog is different and yours is a sweetie and yours would never do that and you control your dog. But it happened to us and we're not changing our policy. And more importantly, we're thankful that it was our dog that suffered, not a human and yeah. not a child. Not Sage. Sage yeah, was close kids. by the same day, guys. So It's normally the kids that get hurt. The next story is one that really pisses me off to know. And John doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't bother you as much. But this is the story of the person that lied and told us their dog was a service dog when it really wasn't, okay? I, I think this one's kind of funny. It's but... a whole new level of entitlement and selfishness. That, and what pisses me off is that what about the person that really truly has a disability? Now I'm looking at them with distrust because I've been lied to before. Emotional support animals do not count as service dogs. So I am not obligated to let your emotional support animal throughout the entire campground. Including like our kitchen, in including buildings. our fellowship hall. Exactly. We are not allowed by law to ask somebody for their paperwork. I guess that's racist now too. We are only able to ask them two questions. So if I ask, hey, what's your disability? Why do you have a service dog? That violates your health privacy. So I'm only allowed to ask, you know, does the dog perform a task? And if so, what is the the task your dog performs? And ask them to show it. And so we do ask that people show if their dog's a service dog so that other people know, because then 
people get mad. Why'd you let this person's dog in and not that person? Well, that's a service dog. Right. Well, what about my dog? Well, your dog's an emotional support dog. There's a difference. I'm sorry. And isn't it true that normally the people that are doing one thing wrong are doing multiple things wrong? So they're letting their dog off the leash. They're letting their dog run everywhere. Their dog's barking at everyone that comes near, acting aggressive. They're sitting outside their RV on a chain, breaking off every 10 minutes. The owner's inside the RV, not paying attention to the dog. And you're lying to me about your dog being a service dog. That's just... It's horrible. There's nothing worse than a liar, right? That's just tell true. us the truth. Yeah. Tell us the truth. Why? Because it's always 1% that wreck it for the other 99% of it, guys. Behind every dumb rule, there's a dumb person. There's a dumb camper. This next story is just beyond rude and entitled. And this is the story of somebody that didn't just lack control over their animal. They trespass, so they shouldn't have been here in the first place. So on two occasions, we've had people come here to visit Thunder Canyon and they did not have a reservation. They ignore the signs, so you know, that it's private property, do not trespass the security gate, and big signs that say your dog must be leashed. They've ignored all that. They've walked down into Thunder Canyon about a half mile. This property's huge, 270 acres, and they brought dogs with them who were not on a leash two separate occasions and on both those occasions those people the people trespassing had dogs that attacked mercedes chickens both times they killed the chickens unfortunately one of those times it happened right in front of mercedes face she literally saw one of her favorite chickens get mauled it by a dog the friendliest chicken. even worse than that the dog took the chicken and started running away we couldn't catch up to the dog it was crazy and all you could hear was the thing slapping and screaming yeah, and it, it, was it was horrible mercedes was in tears but th there's reasons why we have every rule that we do please do not come to thunder canyon unless you have a reservation we are all so busy here yeah. we wish we could show everybody the beauty of thunder canyon we don't have the staff we don't we have don't the time have the and we all work 90 hours a week <laughs> i know the campers really like the chickens the chickens are kind of part of the staff here at thunder canyon <laughs> Are oh, you don't you lining me up? Are you lining me up to fight me? Everybody <laughs> loves the chickens here at Thunder Canyon. And people will feed the chickens, and the chickens are really They're friendly. friendly. Wow. They're super friendly. So that's just kind of part of the whole thing here. And so to have a dog come in and just it's just really sad. And the part that's crazy to me is that this is all completely avoidable. Yeah, so just... whether you are a dog owner or whether you're camping next to someone with a dog, like there's no need for this. This could all be avoided. If you haven't visited us here at Thunder Canyon or you haven't been here for a while, we're throwing some big parties. Fourth of July. We've got some huge events planned. America! Please make your reservations now, guys. We're the filling up fast. Be crazy. The fall is going to be absolutely gorgeous. We're super excited. So make a reservation now while there's still spots available. Please, please don't come to Thunder Canyon unless you have a reservation yeah don't bring your pit bull don't bring your pit bull <laughs> put your dog on a leash put your dog on a leash and, and don't lie to me <laughs> and don't trespass or lie to us yeah so make sure you subscribe because we keep it real <laughs> we're really nice people we're so much fun to hang out with and we love dogs we, we really love do. dogs but it's never the dogs it's, it's the, the humans it's the owners that screw everything up karma this, is a mercedes and i used to do videos on these stupid rules and four pages and five pages and now we have two page rules ourselves now we have a campground and we understand why those rules are in place and we also understand why most campgrounds will not allow you to have a pit bull come into the campground it's for not your safety but the safety of everyone else in the campground and especially children and other people's small dogs with that we'll see you in the next video cool okay nice Let's see All how right. it looks my butt feels a little like permanently on hold on top. hold on <laughs> oh no <laughs>